I just spent a weekend thrashing the Fangzhang's 8800 2TB NVMe SSD, and I've got to be honest, I have feelings about this drive. It's not some scammy flash-in-the-pan budget SSD. It actually reaches PCIe 4.0 by 4 speeds, and in my tests, I saw raw reads around 7300 megabytes and writes hitting 6800 megabytes second. Yes, PS5 class spec for under $119 on sale. That's insane. That's real speed at criminally low cost. But before you start crowning it the next SSD Jesus, there's some real caveats. This thing is dramless. Yeah, no cache memory on board, and that shows. In Crystal Disk Mark, read speeds hit rated numbers, but write speeds, they crater unless you're dumping huge files in perfect buffering conditions. It's an impressively inconsistent performer. Serve the home the controller, a Maxio MAP1602 paired with YMTC 232 layer TLC NAND. That setup should scream budget hack, but surprisingly, read benchmarks are great, write benchmarks are all over the place. User sentiment? Mixed bag. One Redditor says it blew Samsung 980 Pro off their system. Others are using it in laptops for data storage, going, it's fine, does the job. But drive by threads call it Kingston NV2 territory and warn, the cheap price might not be worth it if you want consistent performance. Thermals are generally okay, though it comes without a full heatsink, just a thermal pad. It survived long gaming sessions on PS5 builds, but don't expect miracle cooling under heavy sustained writes. Amazon, here's a curiosity gap. For about six cents per gigabyte, you can load up two terabytes of Gen 4 SSD and feel like a savvy tech pirate. But here's the catch. Consistency is your enemy. Benchmarks fluctuate, and under charge rights, you'll see speeds drop down into DRAM-like territory once the PSLC cache is full. SSD tester bottom line? The Fangzhang S880 2TB is a capacity and read performance monster for cut price builds. If you need raw speed on reads, want massive storage for cheap, and don't care about occasional write slowdowns, it's a shockingly solid deal. But if you value consistent write speed, encryption support, long-term reliability, and pro workloads, you might want to scroll past. So, budget enthusiast builds, Steam libraries, scratch space for video editing, go wild. But gamers saving live sessions or content creators rendering, maybe stick with brands that deliver premium stokage with premium consistency. If this saved you from sinking money or pointed out an unlikely upgrade, smash that like and subscribe. I'm here tearing apart hype and spotlighting value every single week. Got thoughts? Ever tried this SSD? Drop a comment. I'd love to know if I'm right or wigging. Thank you for watching. One love.